Brothers and sisters of Melanie, what's going on, Brother Wisdom? Well, today, um, there's a lot going on in the cosmos. Even though, um, um, the clouds are, these fake clouds are covering the sky, I'm not worried about it too much. Um, <laughs> I got a lot of projects I gotta finish up too. I'll let you guys see, get on, get in on it when I finish up this first one here. You're going to see it. It's very powerful. All right. Very powerful. One of the most powerful structures I have, uh, will have ever finished. Um, and I got several more of those to make. Um, right now, our planet's core is heating extremely high. It's running extremely, extremely high right now. And the core is getting hotter and hotter. And there's no limitation to the heat. Because you have to remember that our planet is a blue sun. So we'll feel the heat from it. And because nature has awakened and her children have awakened, um, things are changing rapidly. Um, we're seeing a lot of things happen right now. This whole structure that was built right now is being um, pretty much torn down. And I can see uh, other people in other dimensions, you know, pulling down um, these orcs, um, power structures. It's like you see them pull them down with machines and it's like, you know, make it down, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, bring it down, bring it down, bring it, you know, I can hear it, I can see it, so, we are moving into a higher state of mind, this uh, fifth dimensional mindset, which you would call the psychic mindset, as we go into the sixth and seventh dimensions, which is pure energy, pure power. Um, and we're growing uh, at a rapid pace, even our children. Children are starting to teach the parents, you know, hey, you can't just do this. You know, you can't just talk to me this way. You can't, you know, a lot of the parents are stuck in the old days and these days are over, you know. You gotta come into the reality that um, we all have a job in a position to save our planet, to save our people, and mostly to save our planet. So yes, the, the core of our planet is heating up at a rapid, rapid pace. And these orcs are trying so hard to create this winter setting. You know, I told you guys, you know, this is what they do. You know, they, they just they just had this rain thing happen. I had to send energy up into the sky to make the rain stop and it stopped um but it's a uh, it's an ongoing battle we have to fight these beings we literally have to fight them we have to fight them on a whole different level and your meditation takes you to that place your meditation takes you to that place of pure power. Uh, right now, Venus is sending energy to our planet. Mars is sending energy to our planet. Venus and Mars are, you know, sending some massive, massive energy. Um, Mercury is sending that energy to Venus, and Venus is sending it to us. Mars is getting this energy from an unknown source. I don't know where, but um, I've got to pinpoint on Mars and see what Mars is getting their energy from. Um, but they're sending us energy also, um, as well as our play, our sun, uh, Ra, um, Nemesis, our crystal sun, Nibiru, our magnetic sun. They're also here. There's so lots of energy is being fed to the planet now that everything is moving back in place from the time um, of the Big Bang or the shot heard around the world. Everything is moving back in place, and these orcs really fear this. They fear this greatly because they knew that it would come a certain point in time where um, 
they would have to answer for their deeds. They just thought they had more time. And now they don't have any more time because we are now doing away with time. If you notice, the days are going by just like this. Days are just for you know it is nighttime. Be like, dang, what happened to the day? You know, I work a 12-hour shift, and I'm like, seem like I go to work, and as soon as I, you know, realize that I'm at work, it's time to go home. <laughs> I was like, hey, where did the day go? You know, even on slow days when there's nothing to do. <sighs> Excuse me there. Even on slow days when there's nothing to do. Um, time just <coughs> zips on by. So time is rapidly disappearing. The energy is here. The dimensional energy is here. I mean, we see all kind of things happen. I've been, I've been reading you guys' uh, comments. I read all your comments, you know. Um, and I'm, I'm seeing a lot of things that are happening right now, um, especially with uh, our people who have fully awakened. And I'm watching the, uh, the, uh, the energy move around you guys. When I go into meditation, I can see every one of you guys who are in meditation while I'm in meditation. It's amazing. I want to. I want. I wonder if you can see me, guys. I see. There's a lot of people who um, who uh, inbox me and say, you know, I saw you in my dreams, and you helped me do such such such. And I'm to be truthful, I'm a little bit everywhere because I'm all. I'm. I stay in a meditative mind. I'm not always in meditation, but I'm. I'm always in a meditative mind, no matter what. Um. So. Hmm. It's, um, I'm just trying to get myself together. Um, it's important that we understand that um, everything is shifting and everything is changing. Our planet is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And our enemies are steadily trying to maintain this old system that they had. And it's, it's, it can't be maintained anymore. Look, the sun is coming out now, no matter how much clouds they try to create. And very soon, um, we all will be seeing three suns in the sky. Um, I'm always looking at the sun and asking the sun, where's your brother? <laughs> where's your brother? Where's your twin? You know, because, you know, I'm like, there's supposed to be two suns in the sky and not just one. Right now, there's supposed to be two suns. We're supposed to be seeing two suns in the sky right now, every day. We're supposed to be seeing two suns, so I don't know what's going on, um, but um, I'm keeping up with everything. Um, this here, let's see, is upside down, right side up. Let me see which side it is here. Okay, cool. This side here. This here is a diagram if you guys can see this here this is um the planet this would be the planet in at 235.52 hertz per hundredth of a second this is what the frequencies look like if you can see this here all right this is what the frequencies look like. They look just like that. And this will be a constant flow for, for a bit until our planet's frequencies begin to rise into 300, the 400, the 500, 600, you know, all the way up to we get to 12 and 1300 um, until we get to the 12,000 hertz per second which is the ultimate goal, which is, this is the, the, what we hear in our ears, in our head, that's that 12, 10, 11, 12, 13,000 hertz per second. And this is where our planet is, is moving to. Right now, um, our planet is, uh, hertz is getting ready to shift to 205.27 uh, hertz per second, 205.27 hertz per second is what our 
um, planet's frequency is getting ready to shift to, and it's moving rapidly to the 235. So um, uh, the core is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. The earthquakes are getting more prevalent. The volcanoes are happening. Um, at the 235 hertz per hundredth of a second, the earthquakes are going to um, quadruple um, in activity. The volcanoes are going to be just literally off the hook. We may just see Yellowstone finally go off what these orcs want. They want Yellowstone. They're going to get Yellowstone, but it's not going to be what they think it's going to be. All right. We're shutting down their system they created on our planet. We're shutting down everything. Um, I really want us to go into a mass meditation now where um, we'll uh, increase the magnetism, but it's not the time now. Um, you can believe me, I want to hurry it up. <laughs> but we're going to have that. We're going to have that time on Sunday. Um, just keep your um, your heads up keep your eyes focused on the cosmos remember to remain in meditation increase your energy increase your wisdom increase your vibrations because when you increase your vibrations you increase the planet's vibrations this is why we have this right here all right because we have awakened this is what's going on right here these are these are frequencies. Each frequency is a vibration of, is a vibrational energy, and these are vibrational energies. All right. If any of you guys can read this here, you can read this like I can. You will know this is a very powerful formula for um, the frequency, the energy frequency shift of our planet okay so things are getting ready to move in place for us and we have to get ready because nothing is slowing down no, no one's going to be waited on nature's not waiting on anyone nature has to um has a has a goal to accomplish and she will accomplish that goal and we will help her accomplish that goal it's important to know that things are happening at a rapid pace because balance is being restored. Okay? Our planet is not the only planet in the cosmos. And it's not flat. <laughs> okay? Just remember that. Um, but we do have, um, we will have time to grow um, after this shift happens. And after this system and our enemies are destroyed, we will have time to grow. Right now, we don't have time to wait around for anything. We've got to be serious about this. Um, nature is very serious about everything. And we've got to be just as serious as nature. Like I said, the, the planet's core is heating up rapidly. I mean, it's the planet's core is heating. And there's no there there's no limitations to the heat just like our sun that we see in the sky there are no limitations to the heat it can heat up as fast as we want to so so can um our planet's core and our planet's core is heating up and a lot of us are starting to feel the heat um we're starting to feel it in different parts of our bodies we're starting to feel it in our hands and our feet our feet i said feet and our feet and our hands um, and uh, we're starting to feel the, the heat and energy in our chest also in our um, on our crown chakras we, some of us, our whole body is just heating up so we have to realize that we're nature and you increase your, increase your meditation, listen to the frequencies you know, do the chants you know, do the rituals they're beneficial to us all okay so this is just a quick planetary update for you guys but yes uh, Venus is sending us crazy crazy energy uh, Mercury is sending Venus energy uh, Mars is sending us energy so we've got two uh, powerful uh, celestial uh, uh, bodies that are sending us 
very powerful, thick and powerful energy right now. And there's nothing these orcs can do about it. They can't block nothing. They can't stop anything. They, their system, their their entire system, um, when we raise the magnetism of the planet, when we do this magnetic rays of the planet, um, their microwave system that they created to control the weather will literally short circuit all over the planet. Their microwave system will short circuit. It will be, and it will be ineffective. Okay, so all the billions of dollars that they spent, they will literally have to spend uh, four times the amount just to repair them, and they don't have that money because as the magnetism rises, the money disappears also. All right, because our planet has a low magnetic field and low magnetic force low frequencies, low vibrations, everything can flourish, but now that everything is um, of rising and awakening, their system is falling rapidly and we must continue and we must keep this going on until they, their system has completely been uh, obliterated, okay, and we're destroying it every day, every day. And it's, it's a working effort, and everybody's doing a good job. All of you guys are doing a good job. We've got to move forward, though, okay? Remember, going within yourself is the most important thing that you can do because when you go within yourself, you're reaching the core of the planet because we are nature. So every time we go into our self and meditation, we're going into the core of the planet. And we're making the planet harder. We're making the core harder and harder and harder. And we're bringing forth that energy which our planet was missing long ago. We've got to get all our people to awaken to this here. It's important. That's why it's important to go within yourself. Because when you're going within yourself, you're tapping into the core of the planet. Because we are the planet. We are the light of the world. We are the dark energy, the dark matter. We are the reason why the planet is here for the right now for to this day. We are the reason the planet is here. So let's go within ourselves and spend some time. Like I said, you know, you got a few minutes. If you got a couple hours, do it. If you got a few minutes, do it. If you got a few seconds, excuse me. Now. If you got a few seconds, do it. All right. No matter what, I mean, do it. You know, just easily, you know, just go on within yourself. Easily do it. Just do it so easily. Once you go in yourself, it only takes a few seconds. You tapping into that core energy and you sending massive amounts of energy into the core of the planet as well as yourself. So that's why it's important for us to tap into ourselves and get into that inner energy because we're tapping into the planetary's energy, which makes the planet, the, the, the stronger the core of the planet is, the stronger we become. So like the brother said, you know, he hit the guy and the guy went flying. <laughs> Come on now, who does that but us? So... The, the more we tap into ourselves, the more we tap into the core, the, pow the more powerful the core of the planet becomes, the more powerful we become. Because we are the planet. And these orcs know this. This is why they needed us to be asleep. This is why they needed us to be, um, uh, to not have a, the attention of, of nature and the attention of ourselves. You know, talking about Jesus and God and Allah and money and the presidents and all that. They want us to talk about that. They don't want us to talk about who we are. You know, we can study about everything else but ourselves. But that's all right. That's all good and well. Because we're here now. And we're studying ourselves. So tap into yourself. Remember, the more you go into yourself, the more you hit the core of the planet. The more you hit the core of the planet, the stronger not only you will be, the stronger our, all of our people of Melvin will be. It only takes a few of us to light that spark and that flame is it's flaming on okay my people um, so just remember every time you go within yourself 
you are tapping the core of the planet and this is how we are moving so the, the spiritual frequencies of our planet is steadily rising is steadily rising is steadily rising the core is getting hotter bigger our planet is expanding the bigger the core gets the more our planet expands and we're the ones who are causing this core to expand and to get bigger and to become more powerful in these words they fear that because they can they, they they no longer have control of anything they're losing control of everything they no longer have control of anything now it's time for us to move into a uh, position for those of you who are the hidden ones yakuta anakuma haniki shatara onakumu uta tashiki atamu uta my people so it's important that we uh, know what's going on around us but it's more important to stay within ourselves when you're within yourself you know the core of the planet you know nature you know the cosmos and our sun is doing an excellent job excellent job now it's time for us to do the rest okay my people that's part of all I have for you right now um, I'm coming back with you guys a little later just want to let you guys know that the core of our planet is heating and um, the um, the resonating frequency which is that spiritual frequency of our planet is um, just about to rise to 205.27 hertz per second. We're almost there to 235. I told you guys, you know, it's going to be moving f rapidly. It's going to be everything is happening rapidly now because these works in is 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 we we are, we're shutting everything down this year. We're shutting it all down. We're going to make it come to an end. We're going to make all of it come to an end. And we just gotta work hard. It's a, it's, a, it's a together effort. It's not a one man go team. It's a together effort, and we all working um, for the same goal for us to get all supreme powers to return to us, and for us to be able to save our planet, save our people. Okay, my people. All power to the multi shaka people. Mel and peace to you all. <laughs>